the Pixel 8 Pro is a true lifestyle phone. Sorry to interrupt this video, but just in case you didn't know, Delvon Digital makes his own custom wallpapers. All my wallpapers will be shown in my videos that you've been watching on this channel. So if you really want to support me, go ahead and hit that link down in the description below and go grab you some nice wallpapers. I mean, these things are dope. I do give all my supporters the Delvon Digital Exclusive Color, and in my custom wallpaper packs, there are 15 more colors just for you. So what you waiting for? Go ahead and pause this video, hit that link, and go get you some wallpapers and come on right back and finish this up. But anyways, let's get back to the video. So let me explain what I mean that the Pixel is a true lifestyle phone. Let's just say that you're well integrated in the Google's ecosystem. You know what I mean. Doorbells, Nest Audios, Nest Hubs, Nest Thermostat, Nest Cameras, Google TV, just all of that in general. Just Keep that in mind. One thing that we all do know is that Google Assistant is just the heart of all of that. And I'm going to go in depth telling you what I mean. Just imagine walking into your house and just telling your TV to turn on or telling your temperature to change and asking your speaker questions for things that you want to know, maybe like the weather or what's on your schedule or telling you about a task that you forgot or just any of that for that matter. All of this is pretty much part of Google's fully integrated ecosystem, which kind of is a normal thing for a lot of us. A lot of us work and we're busy. So sometimes, you know, you're in the bed, you don't want to get up and change your thermostat because you're hot or cold. You just talk to Google about it. You're laying in the bed and you just want to get up and be motivated. So you tell it to play you some music that'll motivate you to get up out of the bed or something like that. Or if, you know, you're just one of those people who vacation a lot and you need to check on your cameras every so often and you can just say, hey, Google, just say that you're a really busy person and you just can't really find the time to always look things up. Well, you can use your voice assistant for everything that you need and it works really, really good. And 90% of all that can be done on your Pixel phone just using your voice without even touching your phone at all, which is really great. To further that, Google has features that's built into the phone that really kind of like stays out of your way. It kind of adds to your life and makes things a lot easier. So we're living in a generation where ads is just everywhere. You walk outside, there's an ad. You're going to sleep, there's an ad. You wake up, there's an ad. There's an ad everywhere. And we just don't like ads. We just hate them. And ads are like spam spam we hate and google has so many different measures that can block out spam especially like in messages and phone calls like their spam protection is something that is very useful and i find it very good compared to the competitors out there when using a pixel i rarely see or get any spam at all when using a device which is great because we're sick of it and we're tired of it and google just kind of understands that and puts that into our phone which kind of fits into our lifestyle it's one of the best spam calling i have ever seen on any phone literally sometimes i put my sim card into another device and i'll be like oh i gotta put it back in my pixel i get so many spam calls it's just ridiculous and that's here at least in the us i can't speak for every country but here we are riddled with spam calling and google learns how to filter them out better than most so it's one of those phones that just kind of adapts and fits into pretty much my lifestyle another great thing about the pixel is that we all humans we love taking pictures of our children our pets moments you know in our lives and just kind of capture everything that we need to capture and sometimes you know other phones exaggerate a lot of things about it you know or there's people who are like me who are photo enthusiasts who really care about the quality and the colors and everything of the accurate scene and stuff like that and google seems to handle that better than most and that's what i love about the google pixel experience as well is that the camera is part of the lifestyle that we choose and, and google knows it google know that people love photos and they do their best to really try to make sure that the photos come out as natural and as color accurate as possible and they even went as far as to make sure that people of color like me have accurate skin tones that is important to a lot of us we don't want to be looking like some orange pumpkin or some magenta looking oversaturated looking person i want to see me how i look 
and Google understands that. Not only do you got parents and relatives out here who really mess up photos, you know, they're not smiling, so therefore you can use features that will pretty much put a smile on their face, or there's somebody who just walked into your photo and then they just messed it up, so now you gotta remove them. Google has your back with a lot of this stuff, and I understand that a lot of other OEMs are now getting these features or do have these features as well, or already been had these features, but that's not what this is about. It's just about everything that the Google Pixel does as far as Google's integration into your lifestyle. These are the things that they focus on the most, which makes it important to a lot of people because a lot of people just can't get stuff right. Another great lifestyle feature I wanna talk about is at a glance. At a glance is pretty dope. At first, I hated it. I wanted to remove it from my screen so much and I was just like, yo, I just rather put a widget up here or something else up there and I really was boggled about that. I even downloaded a third party launcher to get rid of it, but it just wasn't the same. It just didn't feel the same with the animations and everything else. So I just went back to the stock launcher. But the more that I started to use the Pixel, the more I started to not care about at a glance. And then out of nowhere, I just, I can't live without at a glance. I mean, it's so much useful information up there that's right in front of our face. And again, this is talking about a lifestyle, right? We just live in our life and their information is right there in front of our face at a glance, right? Flights. When somebody ring my doorbell, I get a little picture in the corner showing who's at my door. It shows the air quality. When I set a timer on a different device, it shows the timer at the top, letting me know that the timer is about to go off or how much time is left over. It shows the weather information. It even shows when a package is delivered, which is, I get a lot of Amazon packages a lot. Y'all know me, tech guy, order a lot of Amazon packages. And at a glance shows that information to me right when I turn my phone on. It shows traffic. My people that travel, it shows your travel information. I mean, at a glance is so freaking dope so useful and i find it to be out of the way but in the way indirectly in your face in the way out the way type thing if you get what i'm saying because some people might not want it but there's good information that at a glance gives you and i really do love it and i do understand why google keeps that up there it's actually part of our lifestyle if you really think about it this feature is not exclusive to the pixel but i want to bring it up anyways car crash detection which is pretty dope i mean obviously things happen in life and accidents may happen and just we pray that you know nobody loses their life but it can save you if you know, at any given moment, but it can be a useful feature that can possibly save someone's life. And I know they're not the only ones that do have it, but the point is, is that it's part of our lifestyle. It's something that could possibly save your life. So this is important to also have. This is why I say this phone is a lifestyle. The whole point of this video is talking about the Pixel being more so of a lifestyle phone than just a smartphone. One of the other cool features that I never hear any other creators talk about, which I did talk about in one of my past videos, is check-in. Check-in is a, such a dope feature. Basically, just to sum check-in up, if I decide to go for a walk out in the woods somewhere, which I would never do, I would check in with some relatives, meaning that I would go ahead and add like my mom, my wife, and maybe my son, my brother, my sister, and all of them, right? I'll just add them to the list and be like, hey, I'm going for a walk. If I don't check back in in an hour, something is wrong with me. So I hit the button, it sends them a message, letting all of them know that I just checked into them. And I got one hour to check back with them. And if I don't check in, then the phone is going to alert 911 and give them my pin location, my last location that's on my phone while it's on or wherever I'm at. And it's going to call and notify all of my relatives that's on that list if I don't check in. And once I check in, it'll notify them and let them know to check in. The cool thing about this feature is that you can use it with Android users and iOS users, and it works exactly the same. Think about this. We all been in a situation where we call somebody and we're on hold, right? We're waiting. We're like, oh, I, I gotta sit here and wait for this. Well, Google, let me say, Google has on hold for me, which pretty much does all of that for you. Put your phone down, Google will notify you and let you know that somebody is about to be on the line and then boom, you're talking and whatever, whatever. Everyone hates to be on hold waiting, listening to that elevator music, but no, you can allow Google to listen to that elevator music. Direct my call is another really cool feature as well. It's pretty much gives you all the little prompts that you do have when you gotta go into hitting one zero pound and one for this, two for that, three for that or whatever like that. It kind of like shows you everything on the list right there. Now, 
know, it's not supported by everyone, but for the most part, most people that I did call, it was usable, is a really good feature. It kind of skips through the whole process of that. And again, this is what I mean by the Pixel is a lifestyle phone. You're gonna hear that a lot. I wanna kind of talk about messages real quick. Even though Google has the ability to spam out bad messages or fake messages as well, because it's part of the lifestyle that we live today, right? We get spam, we get spam, we get ads. It's kind of part of our lifestyle. And we like to have a way to filter this stuff out and Google does that. So Google even has spam messages, which is just the same as spam calling. I also wanna talk about Magic Compose, which, you know, sometimes when we're busy, we don't really have enough time to really like, you know, message somebody back. So say that your hands are busy or you just really don't have enough time to reply to anybody. Well, Google has Magic Compose that can actually kind of like read what the person said and kind of like, kind of summarize what they said and reply back for you if you want them to by clicking it, just one button, and then boom, just like that. It gives you a good, nice reply. Just, it's almost like quick reply, which a lot of, you know, phones do have, but Magic Compose just really tries to make it feel like you're talking to a real person in the conversation, which I find pretty dope and I use it every so often. But again, it's part of the lifestyle that we live. Sometimes we just don't have the time and we gotta quickly do something and then boom. Another good feature that Google has is proofread. I'm gonna tell you right now i be messing up a lot on social media misspelling stuff you know pronouncing it wrong up there and people trying to correct me and stuff which i really don't care but you know proofread helps me to avoid all of that literally in gboard there's proofread in there that you can actually use to just click on it and it go ahead and fixes everything for you and then you click it it'll just change everything and whatever app you're using instantly and that works and it's part of the lifestyle that i like because i mean sometimes we're just in a rush and we just mess up things so fast that we just don't have time to fix it or we don't proofread ourselves because i mean come on i mean we've been in school before right we never really kind of like always double check all the time sometimes we might never check it and we just send stuff off or whatever like that or whatever now google got your back they, they're gonna proofread it for you they're gonna fix it for you and then you can go ahead and send it so you won't sound like you ain't got no common sense. Another great feature that's not really Google related, but scheduled messages. This is part of the lifestyle that's built into this phone. Everyone pretty much probably have scheduled messages at this point, hopefully they do, but that's another part of your lifestyle. Sometimes you need to schedule a message in the morning for somebody and, or a message that you need to send to yourself or somebody else later on that day. And you just not gonna remember by yourself. So you just schedule that message and then they're like, oh, okay, cool. Remind me to take out the trash at eight o'clock got you and then you just set that in the schedule and then boom and you could just live your life and completely forget about it that's the best thing about it completely forget about it and continue to live your life lifestyle i know i'm gonna bring this up but i know okay i know a lot of you like to use the word gimmick it's gimmicky it's a gimmick it's a gimmick it's gimmick I'm with my man Floss, right? The GOAT, shout out to the GOAT. If you use something, it ain't a gimmick, bro. Anyways, yes, it ain't a gimmick. And I'm gonna talk about the temperature sensor. It's part of the Google lifestyle. Part of this phone It's part of something that you can possibly use if you need it. And have I been using it? Yes, do I use it a lot? No. Is it very necessary? No. Is it needed when you don't have it? Can it be useful? Yes. And I use the temperature sensor a few times on myself, checking my temperature because I was recently sick and you know, my daughter's bottles and stuff like that. Obviously we can just spray it on our hand and check the temperature that way. But I mean, come on, man. Sometimes you just want to know numbers, right? Another thing I want to talk about is some of us have children. We have a lot of kids or maybe one or two or a lot of kids. And you know, they always want to get on our devices. They always want to use them. Hey, can I play your games? Hey, can I play your games? Dad, can I play your games? Hey, can I play your games? Even kids that you don't even know sometimes just, can I play your games? We get that. And that's part of our life. It's, it's part of life and kids ask for our phones. And the best thing about Android phones and not just Pixels is that we have multiple users that fits into our lifestyle. I told you I'm gonna be using that word a lot, but we can add a extra user up there and hand our phone off to somebody and let them have access to whatever we want them to have access to, maybe just that one game maybe, and then be like, hey, when my battery gets a certain, certain percentage, you give it back to me, you know, because I ain't gonna let a kid kill my battery or my child or anything like that. Theoretically, I would, my child would have their own phone, but just for the people who, just not living that type of life then if you wanted to hand off your tablet or your phone or anything to your child there's multiple users that you can set up and they can have their own account up there and don't have access to none of your stuff which is great and i will say that i love that about android in general not just 
Google. One of the other cool things that fits into our lifestyle is live translations. I don't know any other language besides the language I'm speaking now. I've tried to learn multiple different languages and I just really haven't tried that hard. I'm gonna just be honest with you. I'm not gonna say that it's hard to learn. It's just, I never really tried that hard and Google kind of just making it a lot worse for me to learn these things because we have live translations now and we have all of that stuff that I can just use Google Translation and just talk to somebody from a different language right from my phone, which is insanely crazy. And I mean, again, that fits into some of our lifestyles. We're somewhere and we're trying to communicate with people and just imagine if your phone didn't have it, then how would you be able to communicate with that person? So Google just makes it a lot easier to be able to communicate with that person. Now, I'm not saying that other phones can't do this. Again, I told you like this whole video that a lot of these features are not exclusive to the pixels, but a lot of them are. But at the same time, every company is kind of building their own type of you know, smartphone to kind of like integrate into our lives. But I think that Google is really doing it the best and they're doing the most focus on that. So that's why I say that this phone is like the top or this is the, it's a lifestyle phone, not just the top lifestyle phone. It is a lifestyle phone. And one of the last features I want to talk about is one of my biggest favorite features that's on the Pixel. And I want to say that this for sure is exclusive to the Pixel and that's now playing. Man, I cannot count how many times I've been in somebody's vehicle or I've been into a store, a restaurant, or I went out to like, a, a, just say an event and music was playing or I was in a movie theater and the end credits got some hype songs. I'm like, yo, what is that? Who is that? And right there on my phone, all I have to do is turn my screen on and Google is showing me what's playing. I mean, this feature is so underrated and nobody talks about it but man i built so many playlists from using now playing by itself like i cannot i absolutely cannot live without this feature now granted just say that now i know some of you're going to be like well we can use like shazam or we can use something else or whatever you know that's integrated into the iphone or another phone or whatever like that but here's the kicker here's the kicker why it's so freaking awesome right it's not about you just turn it on your phone and you're looking at the song right there and you can click it. Of course you can click it and you can save it, add it to any of your playlists, whether you're using Spotify, Apple Music or YouTube Music or whatever, Dozier, Dozier, Deezer, Deezer, whatever that is, whatever, you can add that music to your playlist. But that's not the point, right? Here's the real kicker about why it's so underrated and so cool. Your phone is consistently listening to music all day long. So when you go into now playing, it shows everything that it heard as far as the music goes and the time. So even if you forgot to go in there and oh, turn the screen on and click it, you can just go back and play every song and be like, oh, this is the song I heard earlier when I was in the store. Oh, this is the song I heard when I was in the movie theater. And this is the song that this girl was in the back seat singing. Like, I don't know if it does the voices, I'm just playing. But that is so underrated, that is so dope. This is my number one favorite feature in the Pixel and it's part of my lifestyle, big time. Told you, lifestyle. And I cannot absolutely live without this feature. There's no phone. And if I'm wrong, you tell me in the comments, but there is no phone that I know that can do that. No phone. Anyways, everyone. This has been Delvon Digital. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like, share, subscribe button, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.